Greetings everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bite Size History. Now over the next few episodes, we are gonna be doing a series that covers how each of the technologies that came out of ancient Mesopotamia apply to the seven characteristics of civilization. In today's episode, we're gonna be looking at how the invention of the plow and irrigation assisted with the characteristic of having a stable food supply. If you like Bite Size History so far, please make sure you are hitting that like and subscribe button and make sure that you are hitting that little notification bell so every time a new History with Audrey D video comes up on my channel for Bite Size History, you will be able to get notified. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok under History with Audrey D and you can find me on Patreon if you would like to support this channel as Bite Size History with Audrey Durham. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at our learning goal and our learning targets for today's lesson. For today's lesson, our standard is going to be to describe the emergence of early civilizations. And our learning goal is going to be to summarize the important achievements of the Mesopotamian civilization. Our learning target with that goal is going to be to describe how Sumerian inventions helped the development of their civilization. Some questions we'll be looking to answer during this episode and the following episodes in this little mini series for Mesopotamia is going to include what cities developed in Mesopotamia and what ideas or inventions did Sumerians pass on to other civilizations. In our last episode, we discussed the seven characteristics of civilization and we discussed a little bit how they applied to the ancient civilization of Mesopotamia. We also discussed how Mesopotamia is also known as the land between two rivers. And that is exactly what the word or name Mesopotamia means. It was actually given by the ancient Greeks years and years later However, Mesopotamia is found between the Euphrates and the Tigris rivers. Mesopotamia is located in the Middle East in the land also known as the Fertile Crescent. Now the major city that developed in Mesopotamia is Sumer. Sumer is where we will see the creation of a number, if not all of our inventions that we're gonna be talking about in this episode as well as the following one. The beginning of ancient Mesopotamia was in 14,000 BCE when people began to create small farming communities. Now these communities are the building blocks of what would become the civilizations of Mesopotamia. Over the next 5,000 years, with the domestication of plants and animals, these settlements began to grow, and so did the technologies that were used and that we still use today, coming from ancient Mesopotamia. These communities began in the northern part of ancient Mesopotamia and then spread to the south over thousands of years. Cities began to develop during this time, which came to include the city of Yuruk first. It was built by the Sumerians. Yuruk was a metropolis built of mud brick buildings and contained art, columns, and temples. Sumerians also created the first written language that we now know as cuneiform. By 3000 BCE, Mesopotamia was under the control of the Sumer people, and it was home to several large city-states, which included Eridu, Nippur, Lagash, Yuruk, Kish, and Yur. Now there were a multitude of inventions that came out of ancient Mesopotamia, and today we're gonna to be focusing on irrigation and the plow. Now with irrigation and the plow, we are also focusing on the characteristic of civilization that is a stable food supply. We're also gonna be able to kind of get in a couple other 
styles of technologies that were created by the Sumerians and they were most likely created for the specific purpose of agriculture and food storage. The overarching theme that we're gonna have for the next few episodes is technology and how these new technologies actually impacted the growth of ancient civilizations. We are starting out with the plow. Now the plow is a tool created to help farmers till or turn over their fields faster and also help to create the raised rows that the crops would be planted in. They were made primarily from wood and the plow would also release seeds into the rows as it was pulled through the field. These plows would be pulled by a large animal which was most often an ox. We also see irrigation developed in ancient Mesopotamia by the Sumerians. Irrigation made farming possible by utilizing man-made ditches, pipes, or natural streams to supply water to dry land. With the utilization of these farming technologies, Sumer and other civilizations were able to grow a surplus of food. A surplus of food is actually when more food is grown than is needed to feed the people, and there is food left over. Having a surplus of food also led to a need for better grain storage. Now this is most likely where we get the invention of the wheel, which was a pottery wheel. Issues with irrigation came from the very thing that made the soil so fertile, which was silt. Silt is made up of fine particles of fertile soil that come from the rivers. However, due to its very nature, the irrigation channels would get clogged with silt when running streams or river water through them. As I just mentioned, having a surplus of food meant needing better storage for that food, and grains specifically ended up having better ceramic vessels in which to store them. Mesopotamia is known for having the very first mass-produced pottery. Most likely this is because they also developed the wheel, as I mentioned previously, and the wheel was meant to be a pottery wheel. It made turning out these large vessels as well as small vessels much faster and easier in the long run. There were also buildings specifically designed in order to store the grain. Now, these buildings were designed in order to store the vessels, such as these ceramic jars or large pots that had the grain in them and were meant to help keep rats and mice out. Now, you may not know this, but the fun fact about it is that this is when we start to see the first domestication of cats. Now, cats started to show up because the mice and the rats were there, as well as any other small critters that they could catch and people began to realize that cats were helping them to preserve their grain stores. All right, everyone, that is it for our episode on what technologies contributed to a stable food supply. In our next episode, we are gonna be focusing on how writing contributed to government and religion. If you like Bite Size History so far, please make sure you are hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, please make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so you are notified every time a new episode is put up. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok under History with Audrey D. And if you'd like to support this channel and get exclusive content, you can actually find me on Patreon under Bite Size History with Audrey Durham. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in our next lesson.